I see two of you are here. Welcome, three of you. Say hi in the chat so I know you're here. What's up? What's up, RPS? How you doing? Thanks for being here. Jeremy, we got M1 of 1. How you doing? Just going to wait for some more people to come in. Jomo Cousins, what's up? How are we doing today? How's everyone doing? Rafingo, just saw you at Instagram. Thanks for being here. Griffin, <laughs> you're too kind. Josh, since since, what's up? Thanks for being here. Hey, man, my pleasure. I'm glad you, you like the fragrances. Mr. Cheap Sense, what's up, man? Thanks for being here. How's everyone doing? What's today, Friday? Yeah, my days are all mixed up. I can't, Robert, man, I just saw my friend just sent me a picture that it's snowing in Chicago right now. I do not miss that at all. <laughs> I do not miss snow in late April. Not one bit. Centralized, what's up? What is that? Rocket and Rocket Randall Hood. Are you dabbing? <laughs> What's up, man? I've never seen that little image. Josu from the French Caribbean. Hello. I'd love to go one day. Yes. Yeah. So those of you who may have missed the last Argos live stream, that was a little different. Um, we had Christian on for the the interview and we did a giveaway we're not doing the giveaway today but um at least not that i know of unless christian pops in and says he wants to do a giveaway <laughs> but uh maybe we're definitely going to do at least one more coming up here uh very soon michael hernandez what's up go ahead and everyone put in the chat what is your scent of the day what are you wearing today charles leon what's up man happy friday Jay-Z, what's your favorite fougere? Ooh, that is tough. I'm planning to do a video on that. Uh, currently, mm, I am loving Tom Ford Beau de Jour. That's my favorite right now. Hillary, what's up? Thanks for being here. Bacho Immortal Son of the Day. That's a great one. All right. Zaharoff Signature Porom. I hope you guys... So in my recent video, I finally started to say George's name correctly. It is Zaharoff. I've been saying Zaharoff for way too long. So I'm, I'm on, on the right one now. Thomas Kosmala, don't know that one. Number three, I do not know that one. Disturbed Kid, what's up? Valentino Womo, the original is beautiful. The, that original Womo is highly slept on. Ultra Zest, love it. Gorgeous. Killian Apple Brandy. Good stuff. Amber Oud. Okay. So we got some good ones. Too green for you. That's all right. More for me. If you don't want it, if you have it and you don't want it, send it my way. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's see. Louis Cardone. All right. Cool. Incident Diplomatique. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. So don't want to waste too much time. I want to dive in to this. And those who join late, they'll, they'll join late. Um, Bleecker Street, awesome. Okay, so here's what I wanted to do. I have this fragrance. This is the third fragrance in the line, in the Italian line of the three, of the three newest ones from Argos. We've talked about Triumph of Bacchus. We've talked about Bacio Immortale. Um, I actually just reviewed Bacio Immortale. I'll be releasing that video very soon. But you can watch my Triumph of Bacchus video, which has been up for a couple weeks. Now we have Brivido de la... I'm saying that wrong all the way. <laughs> Brivido de Acacia, 
which means thrill of the chase. R. Jizzle, what's up, man? KC, what's up? All right. So basically, Christian sent this to me recently, and he told me I cannot smell it unless I smell it live on camera. He wanted me to smell it live so I could share my, you know, impressions live instead of just doing it behind closed doors. So that's what I'm going to do. I haven't smelled this. I haven't opened it. So I'm going to open up this box and let's let's take a moment to, you know, while we're here, we have a few minutes. So I'll, I'll uh, kind of revel in this presentation. And as you've probably seen, they're all different. All the the fragrances have a different art design. I don't know the story behind this one. I did not really look into it, but I will look into it. In fact, it's probably inside the box, so I'll probably read it. We're going to open it up. And just like the others, oh, this is awesome. It comes in a, its own different color. They're all different colors. One was blue. I think one was black, maybe. This one is green. It's kind of like this book-style inner box. Really, really cool. And you can see Brivido de Acacia. De la Acacia. It's Italian, not Spanish. My bad. Okay, so this opens up. It has a magnetic opening there. And inside, we have the bottle. And this is beautiful here. So I'm going to read this uh, little story so you have an idea of what we're dealing with. Brivido de Acacia. De la Car I'm going to get that right one day. The thrill of the chase, represented by the Greek goddess Artemis. Artemis was known as the goddess of the wilderness, wild animals, childbirth, chastity, and the hunt. On one occasion, the short-tempered goddess became infuriated that a mere mortal had stumbled upon her while she bathed in the woods. She hastily turns the hunter into a stag, and he is quickly chased down and ripped apart by his very own hounds. Damn, <laughs> what a way to go. Wildly romantic, yet strikingly refined and elegant, Argos Brivido de la Caccia unfolds with an enigmatic composition of juniper berries, mate absolute, oriental tonka bean absolute, and rich amber, an animalistic fragrance with accents of supple leather and birch wood that is as equally bold as it is romantic. So once again, here's another look at it. Man, isn't that beautiful? Written in silver, and we have the notes. I'm not going to really look at the notes just yet. He listed a few of them in the description, but I'm going to read them as I sniff it. So I'm going to pull this from its bed of slumber, and let's take a look at this plate. And again, each one is different. And I imagine this is Artemis. And this is, I guess these are two stags surrounding her. So, man, it's just so ornate. The way it sits in the glass is beautiful. Man, it's just really, really wonderful. Before I sniff it, let's make sure we're not missing anything. Inge, hello. Good to see you. Uh, who's the perfumer? The perfumer is Christian Petrovich himself, the mind and, you know, the creator behind the brand. So... He's doing this all himself. Okay, George Zaharoff, hello, good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful weekend as well. Okay, let's put it on the arm. And while you're here, just so you know, down in the description of the video, I should have a link to Argos Fragrances where you can check out the website, you can check out the products, you can get a sample set, you can even um, get a bottle if you want. I think I did forget to mention in the description, but I'll put it after the fact. I do have a coupon code FRESH10, that is the word FRESH and the number is 10, to get you 10% off um, your whole order. So that's cool. So we're going to spray this on my arm here. This is, again, live first impressions. Let it air out. Okay, it's already green and woody. I'm reminded of the hunt of Artemis. Whoa, 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 okay. There's a lot here. 
Definitely getting juniper berry. It's very sharp, almost astringent, but it's really well balanced. Um, there's a creamy sweetness somewhere in the background that it's quite woody. Man, this is... I've never smelled anything like this. Let's read these notes. Top notes, we got pink pepper, clary sage, juniper, and green mate absolute. Definitely getting that mate as well. Heart notes, we have oil of fluve. I don't know what that word is. F-L-O-U-V-E, if you know what that is, put it in the chat. Iris concrete, tonka bean absolute. Definitely getting that sweetness. And the base notes, we got supple leather, oil of birch, and then amber. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is nice. I feel like um, I can appreciate that it is extremely different. I've never smelled anything like this. Of the three fragrances, I can't say this is my favorite one, but I really like it. <laughs> I really, really do like it. It's, it's different. Um, you might, if you're looking for something that you've smelled before, you're not going to find it in this. This is not going to be for everyone, I think. It's not what I would call a crowd pleaser, but I think it is an intention grabber. Wow. The blend is beautiful. Everything smells very natural. Wow. And the, the, you know, the story that they're trying to tell here, I feel like is coming to life in my mind because of the scent. This is, this is beautiful. It's, again, it's different. It's telling a story. It has a lot of depth to it. And if you close your eyes, I smell like a... I smell like I, I feel like I'm in the woods, like I'm literally in the woods. There's juniper berries on the ground. And the air is kind of cold and a little bit dewy, but there's trees so I can smell the woodiness of the trees. And there's a slight sweetness. And Artemis is about to turn me into a stag. Hopefully not, because <laughs> I don't want to get eaten by dogs. But this is cool. I highly recommend checking this out again. You can get a sample set. Uh, from the website, I think it's $35 before the Fresh 10 discount. And you can get all five fragrances that they offer. Uh, let's see. I would wear this. I, I could wear this in the spring for sure. And definitely the fall. This is a transition season fragrance for sure. I would not wear this in the summer. I would not. You probably could. It's not super heavy, but the scent profile is not very bright and fresh and uplifting like you would expect from a summer fragrance and you could wear it in the dead of winter too but i think there's denser more oriental sweeter fragrances i would reach for in the winter over this so transition season for sure so i'm going to put this away because we have more to talk about here let's see which of the three do i like the best Man, that's that's tough. Um, it's it's probably going to shuffle through time um, as I continue to experience them. But right now, my favorite one is Bacho Immortal, followed by Triumph of Bacchus and followed by Brivido de la Caccia. But all three are beautiful. They're all different, but they all are kind of unified in um, the olfactory signature. I feel like Christian as the perfumer and most great perfumers have this, they do have a signature. You can smell something, you can detect a common DNA that is kind of a, a through line between their creations, but they are all beautifully unique as well. George Zahara, Fluvical Sweet Green Perennial Grass. Ah, well, I'm definitely smelling that. <laughs> it smells very grassy now that you mentioned that. Thank you, George. Okay, so real quick, everybody, again, if you're here, thanks for being here. really appreciate it. We have more to discuss. I don't want to take up too much time. So we're going to put this aside. And one fragrance that I have not talked about in a long time, and I don't know why I haven't talked about this. This is the first fragrance, well, the first of two that they came out with. And Sensualize, yes, they do have a discovery set. Again, down in the description, you can check out. Um, the website, you can find the discovery set, and you can use my code FRESH10, 
fresh one zero to get 10% off down in the description. Check it out. The first uh, mail offering that they created here, which is their pour on. I got this fragrance back in 2017 when it came out. That's how long I've been working with Christian. And he's come a long way, as you can see. But I still love this fragrance. There's a Poor Femme as well, which I do not have, but we're going to talk about it in just a second. This is one of my favorite, like, go-to, easy grab fragrances for the warm weather, but something that has great quality, beautiful blend, and great performance. Uh, it's kind of um, it's kind of like a, a classic formula. It's like the classic aromatic woody fragrance that you would expect. There's citruses, maybe some spices. It's a little green with some vetiver. It's woody, um, some florals maybe, but it's it's beautiful. It has a, a richness to it, almost like an, a slight creamy nature underneath, and. From what I understand, they've upped the quality since they started making this a few years ago. The oils are richer and denser, and it's better than it ever was. And yes, Michael, I see you. This is a compliment getter. This is good stuff. So easy to wear. And again, great performance for a fresh scent. So I also wanted to put this on your radar. And once again, you can check it out down below in the link at the description. And it, it is included in the sample set if you wanted to check that out. Two more things to talk about. The box is coming open, but that's fine because I was going to open it anyway. Argos also makes candles. And this one, I think they make one for the poor home and the poor femme. This is the poor femme. Good Lord. <laughs> uh, you can see that we have the insignia on the front. And it is, a, uh, from what I understand, a synthetic blend in terms of the wax. I know a lot of people wonder about that. So it's, it is a blend, but it, it's actually really nice. I haven't burned it yet, but I have um, read into synthetic blends, and, you know, it's fine. It, it's fine to use. And I got to say, of the Pour Homme and the Pour Femme, I don't wear the Pour Femme because I don't have it. I do have samples. But I do love the scent of the Pour Femme a little bit more than the Pour Homme because of the effect that it has on me. It, it's intoxicating. So they do make candles. I don't remember the exact price, but this is another product you can check out at the website. Again, just wanted to get it on your radar. Now for the main event. This is, this is the exciting one. This is the big surprise. I'm really, really fortunate that Christian sent this to me, which I did not expect. I might have to readjust here just so you can see what's going on. But this is their cold air diffuser. All right. And it comes in two different styles. Um, it comes in black. It also comes in silver. It's a... Uh, a touch so you, there's no buttons you just touch it you touch each setting and there's also a Bluetooth version which this is not where you can get an app on your phone and you can control it from your phone you can turn it on and off and the cool thing about cold air diffusion is that it diffuses very quickly and so you don't need much of it this uh, diffuser has multiple settings for timers which is really cool you can have it run for um, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 120 seconds, or 300 seconds, which is basically five minutes. Um, those are the intervals. Or you can just leave it running for like hour or two hours, four hours, or eight hours. And it uses oil, as I said. So what I did was it'll come with these little vials. This was the Pour Femme oil, Argos Pour Femme, the pure perfume oil. And I put it in here. So it's going to be diffused as soon as I turn it on. And they also have the pour ohm oil, which I'm not currently using. He sent me a vial of the pour ohm too. So you can get both scents. And I'm going to just let it run for 30 seconds. Hopefully, you'll be able to see the mist. So I'm going to turn it on. Okay, let's see if the mist comes out. So you should be able to see that. And it's great for small spaces. Just 
30 seconds of runtime is basically going to fill up the room. And, man, <laughs> this already smells gorgeous. Woo! Ah, it's beautiful. That is so gorgeous. And, yeah, so that's the diffuser. If you want a, you know, a nice ambience in your space, using Argos fragrances, this is a great way to do it. Using the oil. I think this thing runs, uh, I can't remember. It's maybe like $250. I think it's $250 for the non-Bluetooth version. It might be a little bit more for the Bluetooth version. So it's it's a hefty amount to fork out for a diffuser. But so far, I've loved using it. It is great quality, real easy to use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off for now. And again, you can see the base here. Again, it's all like one touch things, real easy to use. But that's the diffuser. Um, I never really been crazy about diffusers. I was interested in them, but I never was interested enough to pull the trigger on one. But this, yeah, I'm happy to use this. And again, there's multiple oils you can use with it. If you wanted, you could probably use just about any perfume oil in this. Um, you don't want to mix, obviously, unless you do, you can. Um, but you have to find a way to get other perfume oils. That would be the tricky part getting pure perfume oil and yet again i'm pretty sure this one is 250 and they again they have another one which is the bluetooth version which i think is a little bit more so that is basically what i wanted to share with you um let's take another look for those of you who might just be tuning in at brivido de acacia de la Caccia. one day i'll be able to say that right but again here's that beautiful bottle Artemis keeping watch over the stags and again it smells beautifully woody and green man that mate is really coming out a lot more now it's not quite as sweet as it was it's sharp from the juniper berry it's very woody it's green I'm getting a little bit of leather now and I think that tonka bean note has already kind of started to fade which is fine I think I I do like the sweetness of the other two fragrances a little bit more just because I love sweet fragrances. But this is a great departure if you like green, woody scents. This is uh, one to check out. And again, very unique. Never really smelled anything like this. So that's all I wanted to talk about today in terms of Argos fragrances. Yet again, I'll have a link down in the description where you can check them out. I will have a review of Bacho Immortal coming very soon. And I'm going to be reviewing this one not long after that, probably. And I'm pretty sure we'll probably do another live stream with Christian and we'll do some more giveaways. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let me just scroll through these comments here. Make sure I didn't miss anything of importance here. But I just really want to thank you all for being here, for taking the time on your Friday to listen to me talk, watch me blab my mouth <laughs> about stuff that I like. It's really a, a pleasure to share this stuff with you and I hope you get a chance to check it out. Boon me, shipping's nine ninety five to the samples, fresh tin takes three fifty. Yeah, that's right. How much for that piece? Michael Hernandez, if you're talking about the diffuser again, I think it's two fifty. R Jizzle, thank you for responding to that. Boyoya, eight Yoya, I think, sorry. My favorite of the line is currently Bacho and Martel, but a Triumph of Bacchus is a very close second. Clark Jackson, what's up? Thanks for being here. Uh, bottles are wonderful, I agree, totally. Um, Bacho is great, yeah. That makes sense, what did you miss? <laughs> you missed everything, unfortunately. But you can check out the replay once this is over. Um, so, hope you're all staying safe and sane and smelling fantastic. If you want to continue smelling fantastic, this is a great way to do it. Again, link in the description to check out Argos fragrances. But I will see you all very soon. In fact, I have a video rendering as we speak, a uh, tag video that I was tagged in. So I'm going to be dropping that within the next couple hours. So stay tuned for that. That'll be a fun video. Thank you all so much for being here, for tuning in. It's wonderful to see you all and to talk to you all. And again, check out the link in the description. Don't forget to use coupon code, save a little bit of money, and keep smelling good. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.